सॉल्व टू साइन x प्लस फाइव बाई थ्री इक्वल टू वन वेर एक्स लाइ इन द इंटरवेल जीरो टू टू पाई हियर दे टोल्ड यू टू सॉल्व सो यू शुड फाइंड द वैल्यूज फॉर x. Satisfying this equation and also it should lie in the interval zero to two pi. Here you have two pi. That means you should get the answer in radians. For that, put your calculator in radians mode. I repeat, put your calculator in radians mode. Now the given equation is two sine. x plus pi by three equal to one. Here you have sine, so you make sine the subject. For that, you should remove this two. So to remove the two, you divide by two. So we get sine x plus pi by three equal to one by two. Now to get the values for this, here we have sine and here it is positive. So now you should check in what all quadrants is sine positive. It is all silver T cups. So sine is positive in the first and in the second. So x plus pi by three equal to to get an angle in the first quadrant. We should do directly sine inverse one by two. To get an angle in the second quadrant, we should do pi minus sine inverse one by two. So now x plus pi by three equal to. Before you calculate this, make sure your calculator is in radians mode. Now put this in the calculator. You should get pi by six. Put this in the calculator. You should get five pi by six. Now the question arises: In what interval should the values for x plus pi by three lie? And Shall I find more values for this or not? To answer that, we do this. Here, x lie in this interval. We should get x plus pi by three. To get that, you add pi by three. So we get. Pi by three less than or equal to x plus pi by three less than or equal to two pi plus pi by three will be seven pi by three. Now, the values for x plus pi by three should lie in this interval. When this happens, the values for x will automatically lie in this interval. Clear? Now we should write all the values for x plus pi by three in this interval. Now, does pi by six lie in that interval? No. So you reject pi by six. Does five pi by six lie in that interval? Yes. So this you accepted. Now to get another value, you add two pi to this. So when you add two pi, you get thirteen pi by six. Does this lie in that interval? Yes. So this accepted. Now to get another value, you add two pi to this. When you add two pi, you will get a value. This do not lie in this interval. So this you reject it. So the values we got for x plus pi by three are five pi by six and thirteen pi by six. Now to get the values for x, I should remove this plus pi by three. 
so to remove plus pi by 3 i subtract pi by 3 everywhere so this cancel out here i get x equal to put this in the calculator you should get pi by 2 put this in the calculator you should get 11 pi by 6 these are the values for x this is our answer am i clear